Okay guys, this is a part two of the video from earlier. I really wanted to make this just to show you guys that I'm not completely crazy, okay? So you might have been watching the last video where I showed you how to do boomerang research, let's call it, which is using RuCode in order to research different things, right? And you might have recalled that I said, now I can go to lunch, come back, and it will be done. That's exactly what happened. Just look at this amount of research. I want to show you how much it cost and I'm going to show you what you can do with it as well. But just look at the volume and quality of research. And this wasn't even a good prompt, right? There's certain things missing here. I would change a few things, et cetera, et cetera, right? But generally speaking, this is a pretty good... Well, it, it's amazing. You won't really find this amount of information on any other directory online. So let's make a directory of Texas spas for no reason, okay? other than the fact that I've now got this data and I want to do something with it. If I go on Rue code, right, and just show you what this looks like, this was my prompt, right, to get 50 detailed JSON uh, files, right? And that doesn't just mean there's going to be 50 pages, right? So you can do, you can use the amenities here, right? So Texas spars with Whirlpool, Texas spars with Sundeck, Texas spars with a bar, Okay, you can use all of these different things to create different pages, right? So um, let's see, All Sweet Hotel, Spa Botonic, Botonica, I don't, I don't know what that is. I know nothing about spas. I don't think I've ever been to a spa in my entire life. I don't think anyone will be surprised to hear that. Um, so yeah, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take these JSON files that we created in the last video. I showed you how to do all this, right? I think in the last video, what we created was, um, it was, it was one of these, which one was it? I think it was one of the, it, we definitely created this one, Spa Castle, Texas, and we created another one as well, right? So now what I'm going to show you is how to take this and turn it into a fully fledged directory with basically zero effort. Now, before we get into that, if you want to know these things before they're online, or just generally speaking, if you want a little bit of extra help, you can see here, I have all of the MCP stuff. I actually have the MCP code. I have all of my MCP set up right here, okay, which allows me to do all these things. I have Klein, RuCode set up, third party MCPs, what are they, how to set them up, et cetera, et cetera. How to make your own MCPs, which is required for this particular task, and much, much more. Everything on the school will be available in on YouTube as well. It's just this is a much more digestible format. In that vein, you will also find the MCP, right, which is this MCP right here. I will put this in the description of this video. All you have to do is copy this, right, and make your own MCP system. You can give this to Klein and say, make me an MCP from this and then just give it this code. Okay, that will most likely work. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a little bit of local WordPress development, right? So I've just, all I've done, this is local WordPress, right? Just download local WordPress. Again, all of this is on the course or I've already shown this on YouTube completely for free in previous videos. I actually have a complete video showing you how to do everything I'm showing you in this video, just with a slightly different framing, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. So what you can do is you can press VS Code here, okay? And this opens it up in VS Code. This is a local WordPress installation. That's all this is on the side, okay? And then I'm going to index this code base, right? I'm going to change, th this is augment code, just so you know. Um, this is my preferred tool. You can try and use Boomerang code. You might have a few more problems. You will eventually get it to work, um, but it's definitely easier to just use augment code, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spa template, right? I'm going to say below is a template of uh, my JSON files. I have 50 JSON files in total. These will be the basis of the pages that you are creating. I want you to take my local WordPress installation and turn it into a directory of spars in Texas called sparsintexas.com. I'm guessing that's not taken, but I mean, if this is taken, I might just have to 
sack this whole project off. I don't know why I'm using GoDaddy, but whatever. Um, Sparsintexas.com. Let's see, surely not. Okay, it's not taken. Beautiful. Sparsintexas.com. Um, I will need a way to upload all of these JSON files at the same time, which will generate pages from the template below. Visualize this data in a beautiful way and logical way. Give me a clean, modern home page and landing page design. Create category pages from certain JSON objects that make sense. Um, I want a lot of pages such as spars in Texas with X, etc. Um, what else? Also create an all um, an all spars page um, with filters. Uh, and the filters should have Ajax filtering and unique meta titles and descriptions and URLs when you change a filter. This should also be the case generally across the website. All meta information and SEO must be done by you. Um, code a, I'll just do headless, headless uh, WordPress website with a custom theme and if needed, a custom import plugin or tool. Um, don't come back to me until everything is done. You will one shot this entire project without any problem, or you will lose your job and your family will not match okay, us, and, and you will be laughed at by all your AI friends. Do not let yourself down. This is this is just I'm just trying this out. Okay, I've heard this works. Don't laugh at me. Don't call me a vibe coder. All right, I've just heard this works. So now we're going to paste the JSON right, which we got from the last video, and then literally we can just press enter here. I'm just going to see if there's anything else. Um, create templates where possible, such as header and footer, and automatically populate the header with pillar and sub pillar pages in order to help with SEO. Same with the footer. Be aware there may be many tags and categories. So take pagination into account. Use SVG, use icons where needed in order to improve the look and feel of the website. Display images properly thinking about fill or fit where needed and where relevant. These are all just, this is just how I prompt, okay? I'm just showing you how I prompt as well. So now literally this is on agent, right? We press enter and then I'm gonna go play some video games with my buddy and then come back and we're gonna have an entire WordPress website, basically, right? I'm not even exaggerating, okay? So this, I would be pretty confident in the fact that I would now come back and I would just have an entire website done for me, right? That is ready to be released. I'm just gonna, pre I'm just gonna quickly press stop here and say the JSON files are not in the directory. I just gave you the template of all JSON files. They all have these exact objects, but with different content inside each of them. I'll leave the prompts and everything in the description of the video if you do want to use this exact prompt. I'll just grab it actually because, yeah, I think I might have lost the prompt. I hate augment sometimes. Okay, I grabbed it. So I'll save this prompt for everyone. It's here. There we go. Sorry, it's a bit messed up now. And then I'll just add this to the. Oh, I'll just add this to the prompt somewhere. Uh, about fit and fill okay. do not let yourself down okay there we go so you, you you'll have the prompt as well so you can see here it's creating the themes bars in texas etc oh bad request beautiful bad request try it again make sure to break up large pieces of code into small pieces of code also i'm on windows 
Windows, yep, yeah, bash. Okay, so that has now coded about 6,000 lines of code. You can see in the bottom right of my screen what time it was when I started this and what time it is now. I'm, I'm not going to check. Let's just press activate here. All I did was go on, please ignore the fact that Counter-Strike is open. So all you do is press WordPress admin here, right? Log in with the uh, username and password that you gave it before, right? Now you can see I've got a little sparse thing here. I have no idea how to actually import here, so I'm going to guess there's a tool. No, nope. maybe there's a plugin, installed plugins. There we go, Texas Spars Importer. What does that do? It adds an import spars button, choose JSON files, right? So let's go back to, I almost clicked on Counter-Strike. Let's go back to the JSON files, right? This is still coding away, but I'm just trying to show you what I have right now. Um, so open folder, I just need to remember where the hell those JSON files are, one sec. I no idea. I think they might be in my settings here actually, right? Yeah, there we go, okay. So we'll right click one of these like that and reveal in File Explorer. And then we'll just grab all of these. I know that there's a, there's a thing in there that we don't want, but it's fine. So we'll press upload here, let's see if this works. Remember, this is a, f like, uh, I haven't even told it anything else. I haven't said do this, that, or the other, right? So only 20 imported, that's fine. I'm sure that we can work out why. Okay, so there's no spars. All oh, right, we have to press import all files here. Okay, right, there we go. That is now importing. So if I go here, there we go. Beautiful. Let's view this. Okay, fatal error. Okay, that's okay. That's not a huge problem. It might not have fully finished before I started doing this. Um, and we can just fix, we can fix any issues like that fairly easily. Uh, as services, I'm not sure why these have numbers. This is what it came out with. I'm not sure why this is a number. There's a few things that need fixing here, but you can kind of see, right? You can see the idea. This, wow, this is actually incredible. This is probably about five minutes away from being completed, just so everyone knows, okay? You might think, oh, this is really, really far away from being completed, but it's really not that far. There's just a few things I need to change. First of all, why are these numbers? I have no idea. Let's see if this is working. No, nope, the Ajax filter system's not working. There's way too many filters here as well. But let's go on San Antonio, for example. We have San Antonio at the top. Again, need some work because there's no SEO there. But overall, I mean, this has done a phenomenal job for how quickly um, this has, you know, been running, right? So there's a few things we need to change still, but I mean, look at this. It even has a, it even added breadcrumbs. I didn't even ask it to add breadcrumbs. These are all of the spars that we've added so far, right? Each of these is a unique page. So what you do now is literally you just say, look, this is really good, but um so there's this right there's this error on the reviews right so we just send that hang on and then we say like uh what else is there what are the problems this is really nice i love how it's done this this is perfect um why are the services with numbers? So let's just send it an example there, right? So 102, if we just hit 102 here, I guess they're all 102, no? Not sure where these numbers have come from. They must be in, the, in here somewhere. So let's just go to Bayside. 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 Spa services services. Something here is giving a number, but I I, I really don't know why. I'm I'm gonna have to look into this at some point. It might be from here, I guess, 2024, but it still doesn't really make any sense. Like there are many services that have numbers in. So this is an example, right? So I'm giving it that, and then I'm giving it the Bayside. Bayside Spa, yeah, perfect. And then what else is there? 
I mean, the home page looks amazing. I'm not gonna, th this is basically the end of the video, just so you know. I'm just showing you how to then get it to the final thing. I love this. I think it's done really, really well. We can send this as well, right? To show the numbers thing. And then we'll, let's check mobile, make sure mobile's fine. So look, this is scrolling, which is bad. Uh, there must be something that's like bleeding over. I guess it's the footer. Looks like it might be the footer or maybe the header. Um, something is causing bleeding over and horizontal on mobile. This happens quite a lot. That's why I knew to check that, by the way. I mean, overall, I'd say we're pretty much done. The a Ajax filters aren't working. A oh yeah, and then the SEO needs to be more unique. Ajax filters aren't working or creating a new page with unique meta information that's good for SEO, like best spas in Texas with X, right? Uh, what else is there? Breadcrumbs, really, really nice. Um, images just aren't showing for some reason. Images aren't showing for some reason across the site. And then if you want to see this website live, guys, it'll be um, whatever the domain was before. I completely forgot what it was, but uh, sparsintexas.com or something. Please don't buy that domain. Please just let me buy it. I'm not going to buy it today. Just please don't buy this domain because um, then people can see this for themselves, right? So then all you do is just send that and then it'll fix all those errors and then you are done and you can launch the website. I'm going to leave the video there, guys, mainly because I don't think that message sent for some reason and now I just lost. Oh, it did. Um, I'm going to leave the video there, guys. I think this shows the power of this. That was two prompts, right? Literally two prompts. Think about that. Just think about that for a second, all right? The power of this. Prompt number one, right? I'll, I'll leave... I'll leave all this in the description, right? This is prompt number one. So where's that notepad from before? Prompt one, which is Rue code boomerang, and then augment code, prompt two. And I just two prompt an entire WordPress website, right? People who are saying this is a waste of time, you've got no idea what the hell you're talking about. You can make money from this, guys. SEO is not going anywhere for the next two to five years. It's going to change, but it's not going anywhere. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. And I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Unless you play Counter-Strike, in which case I might see you on DDoS 2. Peace out.